Hey everyone. <clears throat> I'm at Mum's. They've all gone out. They've had to take the dogs to the vets for um, what they call them. Not a check up to um, booster shots. That's it. So I thought, while well, they've done that, I can update you on what's been going on here. So, here's the pond. Looks like a pond now, doesn't it? Ooh. That water's gone seriously murky. You used to be able to see the bottom. I need to get the filter working, but we can't. Because we need to connect this. It had a big leak, so it's got to be redone. But there's the pump. It's got to be properly wired in. There's the cable. Here's the waterfall, it goes into there, up and over there, and back into the pond. I've got a thingy tank under there, which is also very murky. So we've got the pump, it goes through the pump, and a pipe in the ground, all the way along here, up that one, all the way along, in, that one fills up, overflows down to this one. That one fills up, overflows down to the next one, so on, and then back. <clears throat> this will be all enclosed eventually. When this is all done, there'll be like a door on the back here. There's still some uh, cementing to do here, so we can hide that cable. We're going to put like a little switch box in here as well, so the pump will go into that. Right. Well, that wasn't there before either. Not last time I did an update down here. Do, 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 do. Here we go. We've even got the electric sort of this. All sorted in here. And he has started putting in the benches. We've got the painting to do and carpeting to do and that is it for in here. Then he's just got to build his benches. The idea of it is um, yeah there's going to be a platform going around here I'll run all the way down and there will be another one of these down that end and I can't remember at the moment what they're called but Obviously, depending on which way you go, the main layout is going to be, I don't know if you can see it, where that pencil line is. That's going to be the height of the main layout. Um, so basically what he's done, he's put this in. So the trains come in, they go round, they spiral round, and they go underneath the layout. Spiral up the other one, and come back along the actual layout that he'll have on display. Uh, I still can't remember the name. Uh, or obviously it could go the other way, you know, that could come in from this end and spiral around and go back that way, whichever way you want to send them round. I've got his workbench in where he will put all the models and things together. Hence why we've got the better lighting up there. And uh, plenty of sockets under here for all the tools and things. And there is another three along there. I've got a cable hiding in the wall there. And then the reason we decided to do it this way, rather than hide all the cables in, because it would be easier to hide, um, add any sockets on if necessary. I thought that was cobweb. I just realised that's uh, bits of glue. My brother should be home from work soon. So yeah, this is coming along nicely, like I said. It just needs carpet and the bench and paint. We did have issues with this ceiling though, because we used plasterboard. But because this is basically reject stuff from a building site, that guy we know got us, it was damp. And it was very damp on the corners, hence why we had to put a, 
a lot of filler in like there, there, especially there. I put my hand through up there because it was just so damp. So yeah. Anyway, I'm not done yet. We were going to pave this bit, but Mum's decided she wants gravel in here instead, so we're going to do that. This has all got to be grassed. I'm going to put a path in down to my, my own little shed. <laughs> I thought we'd make use of the old um, slabs. So I bought three bikes the other day. Uh, Saturday, actually. Two days ago. I've got this Mongoose BMX, which my brother is heavily interested in. I don't think he's quite made up his mind, but I'm in no rush to sell it, so... I've got this one, which I've got to take a photo of. And the one behind it. This is only an old Apollo, it's nothing special. I wasn't actually going to keep it. And put this as my trailer towing bike, but... Frame's a bit low, I need a high frame like that one. But uh, I didn't actually need a lot. Nor did that one, and... Repair wise, I'll just put a tube in the front of that one. There's no point putting brakes on it because I've never seen BMXs that do the stunts at the skate parks actually use brakes on their bikes, so I'm going to leave it as it is. <sighs> Wrong side for the light switch. But, uh, here's one I did for my brother. That was another abandoned relic. I think I uh, showed you this actually in a video. I tell you, it's all working, all good to go. It just haven't got a rear mudguard. It's even got lights on it. So you can use it in the dark if he so wishes. And, uh, I've got no further with any of that lot. I think I've just got bored now. <laughs> <sighs> If I showed you that, put an extra light up here on a separate switch. Which I just use if I'm actually working in here because I actually find in the middle it's a bit dark. So just sheds a little extra light. Now, my idea didn't work. <laughs> I've got the wood there all cut ready for my uh, switch box for my flashing lights at home. That's just got to be assembled. Yeah. Oh dear. Bit windy. Right, well Mum asked me to go and uh, empty the dishwasher while she was out. So I'm going to turn these lights off because I don't need these on. That's just wasting electric. Shut the door because I'm going to put that Apollo up against the shed and take a photo of it. I'm going to need to sling some dirt. Best thing is with this bike, that bloody light as hell. There we go. Yeah, I paid five for each for all of these bikes, so. And I had one given to me as well. I've got another one at home. Give me a bit of pocket money. Right. I can't show you the progress in my brother's room because I haven't got the key. Oh, actually, yes I have. I just remembered he hangs up. Let's see if we can quickly, 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 we can quickly have a look. Oh. I'm surprised that didn't shut the camera off. Right. Oh. It might be about another five minutes or more before he gets home. So, it depends when he knocks off. Should be the fluorescent light, yep. Another switch there for response. Look at this. He's got his unit up. His consoles are going in there. 
And I might tell him if he needs an extra socket or something in there, I can do that, not a problem. Uh, and I think he's going to put games up there, and he's got a CRT TV that he wants to put there for his older consoles. And I think he's got an LCD he wants to put on here as well. Games, I'm not sure what he's got planned to put up there. He's got everything else in here, he's got internet. What's coming through the hole in the wall down there. Bloody plastic. It's actually quite nice in here, I like it. Love a room like this myself. Yo. Nope. His car's not out there. I tell you what though, this floor is hella unlevel. You can see how unlevel the floor is, look. You see that? But this was meant to be a shed anyway, so I'm guessing they didn't, you know, put a lot of effort into it because it is just a, well, originally a brick shed. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Anyway. Anyway, I am going to uh, end the video. We've still got a few bits of trim and whatnot to finish off in here, around the top, at the top there, around the door. Uh, oh, and that cable there has got to be hidden as well. So, uh, yeah. Thanks a lot for watching, everyone. I will talk to you all again in the next video. Bye-bye.